Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Thick Boy McGirth. Um, just kidding. It's West Top Shelfers. Back with another tier list. Someone the other day asked me if I was bald, and that's the reason why I always wear hats in videos. Um, no, it's a, just a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Anyways, making a tier list again today of one of the things I'm very passionate about, and that is horror films. Now, this is kind of like a master list, actually. There is a lot of stuff to go over. There's a lot of stuff on here that I don't know, which is actually kind of exciting because it gives me a lot of stuff to look up, as well as some stuff on here that I wasn't expecting, like Jurassic Park, which I'm actually kind of I'm kind of excited to talk about because I had a weird thing with Jurassic Park as a kid. Now, this is just going to be your standard tier list, S through F. Um, don't know, don't remember. Probably going to have a little bit of a... Uh, you're probably going to get pretty full in this one. But I'm excited to do this. Let's get it going. We're starting off strong. The Exorcist. I am a big fan of the original movie. And I'm also a big fan of most of the content that was produced after that. I'm not sure if we are counting like some of the exorcist type movies that aren't technically the same universe as the first one. But if we are still putting it at an A, I think it's one of the better old school horror films and it still stands up today, which is hard to say for some of the other ones. Uh, the thing, the first movie, the original movie, is fantastic. And if you watch it as a kid, it is haunting. Now, it kind of is one that floats that realm of like, it doesn't, some of the, some of the art and some of the cinematography as well as like the creature, like the actual thing looks kind of silly compared to some of the stuff you see today and the remake was kind of dumb in my personal opinion but that original one one of the better horror movies in my eyes and uh i think out of respect it still needs to be up at a b tier i do really hold the first that original one close to my heart because it really was like if you guys haven't seen it it starts off with just a husky uh i don't know if it's a husky but like a Malamute Husky type dog running in, I can't remember if it's Antarctica or Alaska, and it just shows up at camp, at this camp where these scientists are working, and you kind of find out that this dog isn't necessarily a typical dog, and it kind of goes off the rails from there. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, I actually don't know this one. Um, it kind of sounds familiar, but I don't really remember it. Resident Evil. Resident Evil is such a tough one to rate. If we're rating the video games, probably an A or a B tier. If we're rating the movies, which this is a film franchise, I just... I don't think that the movies are that good. I mean, they're entertaining, but compared to some of the other stuff that we're going to get on this list, I just don't think that it can really get higher than a D and like everything like at the end we'll go over the community ranks as well as I might adjust things but I it's just not that good uh the fly I've I don't know if there's multiple I've only seen the original the original is pretty wild <laughs> if you haven't seen it it's definitely on your uh needs to be on your for sure watch of like old school horror but <laughs> I I don't know. I'll put The Fly at a C just because I didn't know that it was technically a franchise. I think that there are some on here that are just uh, one-offs. Like, I have seen, I know there's one open water. I didn't know there was multiple. And there's some dumb shit. Like, what's Evil Bong? <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it now, but I don't know what it is. Candyman? Okay. I have not seen Jordan Peele's new one. I'm a fan of everything that Jordan Peele's put out so far. I think he makes fantastic horror movies with wild twists. I haven't got around to seeing it. The original Candyman 
at least the first one, pretty good movie. Um, I'm not going to put it higher than a C. At the moment, we might be back for that. Uh, Camp Blood, I have seen it, but I don't remember it. The Howling, I don't know. The Human Centipede. If we're talking impactful movies, Human Centipede was like a like a viral sensation. Everyone was talking about the Human Centipede. And let's be completely honest, very unique, creative, and kind of horrifying if you really think about the movie as a whole. It, and it's grounded in reality. It's, I guess it's really not like that could happen in a fucked up way. Is the movie that good? No. But I think with its viral sensation, we have to put it here. I I haven't seen the second one. I, I believe there's a second one, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to put it there. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I watched this as a kid, and it's really silly, but hear me out. Old, shitty horror is some of the best horror that exists. It's it's fantastic. It's worth watching. I'm going to put it C. Boogeyman. The first Boogeyman movie absolutely haunted me as a child. The opening scene is terrifying. There's the way that they film the movie is kind of convoluted, but it makes sense at the end. I know that they have, I've seen the second movie and I remember it kind of being not so great. They were like, it was like on a college campus or something like that. But that first movie for sure is A tier in my eyes. Overall franchise, probably B tier. Okay, we're getting to our first big hitter. Listen, Friday the 13th, there's a lot of silly movies in this franchise, right? I mean, there's one where he goes to Manhattan and beats up a bunch of thugs, and, like, it's really silly. And there's even some ones later on that are silly. I mean, there's one that he goes to space. But if we're talking a fun series of movies to watch, I mean, I think there's, like, what, 12? Maybe more in total? And... Jason is obviously one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic, horror icon that's out there. You see, everyone knows what the mask is, the hockey mask. Like, it's something that is just so impactful in the horror genre. We have to put Friday the 13th at S tier. I, I'm not arguing it. It has to be there. Uh, Lake Placid, I don't know. Um, I think the first open water, I, I don't know if there's multiple open water movies. Um, the first one is, I, it's interesting they put this on a horror list because it's real horror. The idea of getting lost in the like, middle of nowhere in shark infested water is pretty terrifying. And from my, if I remember right, they are on like a scuba diving or a snorkeling thing and their boat just leaves them. That's real horror. That, that really happens. Super terrifying. I think the movie's fantastic. Um, I'd probably put it at a B. I think it was a good movie. Scanners, I don't know. Evil Dead. Cult classic. The remake was fantastic. Ash vs. Evil Dead is fantastic. I personally believe everything around that whole franchise is top tier quality. We're putting Evil Dead at S tier. I know we can argue that one. I'm willing to argue it in the comment sections if you want, as long as you stay nice. It's one of the better ones out there. Terror Tunes, not familiar. Scary Movie. It's funny they put this on here because we all know Scary Movie is spoof. They're spoofs. They're not really horror, but they make fun of horror and it makes it fantastic. I think that the first, I would say, three horror mo or scary movies. The first one really makes fun of Scream. The second one makes fun of uh, Mansion. I can't remember which one. And then the third one hits on like signs. I mean, they cover lots of horror movies, but they kind of have like a main 
one. I think the third one was Signs and Eight Mile or whatever. I think the Scary Movie franchise is fantastic. I know they kind of went off the rails near the end. I think there's like five or six now. I don't even know if I've seen all of them. But the first three, pretty funny, pretty solid. And really, like, I know spoof movies existed before Scary Movie, but I feel like Scary Movie was the first big one that really, like, blew up that genre. And let's not pretend like the Waynes brothers aren't some of the funniest. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I can't say enough about those guys. They're fantastic. We're going to put Scary Movie B2. Wishmaster. Wishmaster is one of those ones that I feel like kind of fell between some of these bigger well-known ones I know that there's multiple Wishmaster movies I have seen one of them and I don't remember it all too well I do know that that first movie did scare me as a kid but I don't think I can put that above Candyman or Attack of the Killer Tomatoes I feel like I gotta do that that's it. Lost Boys. I've never seen the second or... Th Is there a third one? I don't know. I've only seen the first Lost Boys movie. If you haven't seen it, you're doing yourself an injustice. The, that movie is absolutely fantastic. One of the best. I get why it's a, in the horror franchise. It's vampires, kind of spooky. One of the best. I'm putting it A tier. I know that this is a franchise, a film franchise rating, but I'm gonna rate it just off the first movie. It's A tier. Ginger Snaps, never heard of. Feast, never, uh, I had never seen. I Spit on Your Grave. I know that there's like seven or eight of these movies, I believe. I've seen a couple of them. They're pretty solid. Uh, not anything that I would say like is got to go see right now start from the start but they're all right um phantasm i feel like i've seen that one time but i don't remember it nightmare on elm street i'm gonna say the same thing with nightmare on elm street as i did about friday the 13th freddy krueger is one of the most iconic characters the idea of someone being able to kill you in your sleep in your dreams terrifying love the idea there's a bunch of movies they kind of get really silly i know there's at some point where he turns into a worm i don't know freddy versus jason whole lot of fun you can't not put nightmare on elm street in s tier you just can't alien another wonderful franchise i we could call it horror or we could call it sci-fi i know watching it as a kid the first one it did was scary for me going back and watching them they're pretty fantastic i know it stretches into some other genres like i avp's on here i don't know if uh prometheus is but if we're just looking at those first three alien movies i think that that has to be a tier I'm not going to put it above Exorcist, but it definitely deserves where it's at. Beware the Blob. I've never seen The Omen. I saw the first movie a while back. It was pretty decent. I'm going to put it somewhere right here. I'll think on that one near the end. Critters. Never seen. The Hitcher never seen cloverfield cloverfield's an interesting one the first movie was filmed in that like um point of view camera it makes some people like super dizzy i think the first cloverfield was pretty great i enjoyed it i had a lot of fun it's like you know a monster alien movie type i don't know if it was an alien or just a monster i think it was alien the second one I forget what it's called, Cloverfield Lane, something like that. Fantastic movie. John Goodman, one of my favorite actors, killed that movie. And the ending, like the whole time, I'm going to give you guys a quick thing because I really, really like that movie. You, It's almost like a kidnapping 
hostage situation where the main antagonist, protagonist, depending on how you look at it, takes this girl and a guy into this like underground bunker and pretty much says the world's ending up there something's going on you can't leave and you kind of see like the dissolving of their mental states and of course them wanting to leave because they don't believe them into the final scene which is just well i should i don't know if it's the final scene i don't know the terms but one of the ending scenes blows it all out of the water and you're like holy fuck <laughs> I think for those first two movies, the first one, probably like a B, C tier. That second one is definitely an A tier. So I think I'm going to put it right above open water. Children of the Corn, remake after remake. The first one's pretty decent. It's kind of like a cult classic. Not that great, to be honest with you. I'm going to put it C tier. Creep Show. I know that they just remade Creepshow into a TV show. I heard it was really good. The original Creepshow is fantastic. I think there was another Creepshow that came out in like the 90s, early 2000s. I think they're all fantastic. I think that's deserving of a B tier. I Know What You Did Last Summer, the first one, I think is right up there with like the original Scream. One, like a fantastic 90s horror movie kids kill this guy like i think they were i don't know if they were drinking and driving or partying or whatever but they hit some guy and they dumped the body and you assume he didn't really die and he's come back to kill him or it's like a ghost of him it's one of those ones where it's like gives you the anxiety because he could be around every corner <sighs> if we're writing the first movie probably a b tier the overall franchise because i know that they've remade it a shit ton meh I'm probably going to put that, yeah, we're going to put that below Candyman, but probably better than these. Brotherhood, I don't know. ABC's a death, I don't know. Hostel. Hostel is another real-life horror movie that is absolutely terrifying if you believe in the possibilities of it happening. If you've never seen Hostel, I don't blame you. Because it has, through the first two movies, I don't know, I think they made a third one, but I haven't seen it. The first two movies have some of the most gruesome, gruesome things that I've seen in horror movies. The idea is, the first one, a bunch of guys go to Europe, party, have some fun. They get drugged, and they get sold into this, like, it's not necessarily like sex trafficking, but it's like a rich people can buy human it's human trafficking they can buy humans and then do whatever they want with them and some of the things they do are just absolutely disgusting and terrifying the second one is the same exact type of story but it's with women and i think as far as horror goes real life horror shit it's one of the better ones is it disturbing? Do I recommend it? I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea and it will probably make you not want to travel. That's for sure. I think though it has a really big impact on horror. I'm gonna put that at B tier. Blade. <sighs> Blade's cool. I think Blade's fun. I got called Wesley Snipes growing up my whole life. Eh. I've seen the first three Blades. I know Ryan Reynolds is somewhere in there. They're fun. I enjoy them, but I'm not like writing home about them. I feel like it's going to be right in the middle of C tier right now. Snake Rattle Roll. Never heard of that. Night of the Demons. Never heard of that. The Amityville Horror. Really good. The original is pretty fantastic. Ryan Reynolds is in that one too, I believe. I just know that they've tried to remake this movie a bunch. I've read the book. The book was pretty good. The whole idea is that the Amityville horror is based off a real haunting or what we think is a real haunting. Um, house is haunted from a previous family. They do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. As far as like a franchise goes, they're not bad. 
I'm not like some of these C tier ones. I'm not going to tell you like run to the run and download it or find or excuse me stream it somewhere. Like they're fun. If you're bored, throw them on. If you're not, you know, I wouldn't uh, put it on that immediate list to watch. But we are going to put this one right here, mid C. Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever is another one that just really get, goes off its rocker. I, I don't know. I mean, they're fun horror, but I'm personally not a big fan of them. I'd probably put it D tier. I it, it teethers the line of trying to take itself serious, but then not taking itself serious. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a big opinion of Cabin Fever. Evil Bong, I've never seen, but I'm going to. <laughs> Sounds great. Anaconda, Anaconda, jeez. Ice Cube, shouts out. Um, yeah, there, it's it's a good movie. Big scary snakes do exist, and they do kill people in the Amazon. I just know that there's like multiple movies, and I've only seen the one with Ice Cube, so I just don't know if I really give a fuck about them. I, yeah. They're dumb. I'm going to put it D tier. <laughs> Probably worse than Resident Evil. We have no E's and F's yet. I don't know if there will be any E's and F's, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably not. Final Destination. Okay, Final Destination 1 is a goddamn A or S tier movie. The idea of, like, having a premonition and then saving yourself and a bunch of people but it like doesn't fit with some sort of universal i don't even know how to explain it basically a guy has a premonition on an airplane that the airplane was going to crash midair blow up midair and kill everybody he gets off the plane and a bunch of people get off with him and then for whatever reason it was supposed to be the time that they die so they all start dying in order of how they would have died in the plane crash. Uh, and it's a very gruesome movie. I haven't seen Final Destination in probably 10 or 15 years. So I don't know how well it holds up to today. But I remember in the first, second, and third movie, they, Final Destination is another one that really beat the horse of like continuing to try to make movies, which I guess they can because it's like, Oh, well, yeah, I mean, they just, people are dying. It's an easy movie to make. The first one, fantastic. The second one, just as good. And I love, like, everyone sees those logging trucks and immediately thinks of Final Destination 2. You, you just can't help it. The third one, I think, is the start with, like, a roller coaster. That's when the movies kind of start tearing off. And then I think the fourth is a racetrack or something like that. But as a full franchise, they're fun movies. I think it would be a shame not to rate them pretty high. I am not putting him in A tier, but I think right here is a good spot for him. And I think I'm going to move Open Water down here since it's just one movie. Open Water might find its way to C tier if not too long. Fright Night, only seen it once. It was really good. Put that at B tier. From Dust Till Dawn, God, I remember that movie being really good, but I've only seen one and I don't remember it. Probably going to get some flack for that one because I know that's a fucking iconic one. Ghoulies, I've never seen. All right, let's talk Halloween and we're going to follow up with some, we got some really good ones right here. Oh, we got some really good ones for a while. Okay. Halloween, same thing as our S tier. Michael Myers is absolutely iconic. The first Halloween movie, one of the best horror movies ever created. The second Halloween movie was a great follow-up. We do not talk about the third Halloween movie because no one really knows why that's a thing. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't have Michael Myers in it. I don't know. Halloween 4 and 5, I personally think are still fantastic. They kind of lost me at like Halloween H2O and somewhere along the lines, um, gosh, what's the rapper? Busta Rhymes is like a Kung Fu master and like 
like spin kicks Michael Myers in the head or something. That movie was dumb. And then Rob Zombie remade him. I think the first Rob Zombie remake was absolutely fantastic. I think that that was a fantastic call for the franchise. His brutal fashion of making movies really fit well with Halloween, and I loved how they like really created a monster from his childhood. The second one, arguable. I didn't really like the most recent one they did, and then there's another one coming out, so we'll see. With everything being said, Halloween is absolutely S tier. I would probably put it right here. And we might switch this up. I I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> Hellraiser. Hellraiser would be S tier if it's if it's sequels weren't dog shit. I think the first Hellraiser even to this day is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Some of the goriest shit that you'll ever see. Lots of fun, fantastic horror film. The problem is, is Hellraiser drops the ball in its third and on movies. The second one's not bad, but everything after the second one is really not great. I've always wanted to see like a really good Hellraiser remake. I feel like they could do that, especially in today's day and age with the technology we have. It'd probably be super creepy. With that being said, I am putting Hellraiser still in A tier. And if its sequels were better, it would be S tier in my head. Pinhead is an iconic character. Trimmers, I don't care. <laughs> that's my that's my opinion of Trimmers. I just don't care. First one's cool. But like I think there's like I don't even know how many there are Trimmers. I just don't care. Um Probably better than, probably, yeah. Yeah, we're going to move Anaconda to E. Sorry, Ice Cube, I don't mean it. Hills Have Eyes. The original Hills Have Eyes, I don't think I've seen, but I heard it's okay. That remake, though, when that came out, oh my god. That movie was fucking terrifying. And it's another one that, like, I believe Hills Have Eyes is kind of based off of a true story, and... I remember watching that remake way earlier than I should have watched that as a kid and it fucked me up that movie was gruesome disgusting, terrifying everything you want in a fucking horror movie and then the second one was a pretty decent follow up we're putting it in B tier but where are we putting it in B tier right there that's perfect spot for those Child's Play, Chucky, 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 Chucky. <sighs> it's so tough talking about Child's Play because the first one is actually a pretty decent horror movie that's really creepy, and then it just gets super silly. A lot of people like the super silly stuff with, with Child's Play. I know, like, Bride of Chucky and all that type of stuff. Like, I know a lot of people really like those movies. I think that they're kind of shitty and not that great, but I do understand its importance in the horror franchise. We're going to put it... <sighs> Man, I feel weird putting that one in. Yeah, we're going to put that in C tier. Insidious. I love the first Insidious movie. I love the idea of like astro projecting all that type of stuff is a whole different video we can discuss the creature in insidious is god awful creepy and the soundtrack to that movie is fantastic wait hold on am I thinking of something else insidious insidious um no I'm thinking of the right one, right? Hold, please, while I double check myself. Insidious. Yes, okay, right movie, sorry. Just had to double check. 